Objects can be created directly or by using the object wizard. We always recommend using the wizards. In the wizard, start by selecting an object type, such as vibration velocity. Then select the sensors for which you want to create a VRMS object. The software suggests names for the objects, but you can alter these manually any time. For standard measurements of 10 to 1000 Hz, the upper corner frequency can remain at low pass 975 Hz. The lower corner frequency, 2 or 10 Hz, results from the settings chosen when creating the vibration inputs. The measurement time should only be reduced for valid reasons, for example if a very rapid emergency shutoff is required. Generally, the VRMS value is calculated independently of speed, which can be done permanently. If this is not desired, the object can be activated or deactivated by using a trigger. The alarm limits can either result from experience or from the relevant standards. You can create further objects as needed. Unbalance, as opposed to the VRMS, is a frequency selective object. Unlike in the case of the VRMS, no fixed frequency range is monitored here, but a speed-dependent forward frequency. To calculate a forward frequency, a speed value, such as a trigger, is always required. If there is a transmission between the speed source and the object monitored, the gear ratios can be set here. As monitoring a rolling element bearing is fundamentally different from other objects, it has a wizard of its own. Selecting the correct bearing is crucial for the monitoring, so this needs to be done very accurately. While in the overview menu, you can still sort the objects to achieve better clarity. Please note, if the values are transferred via OPC, the Y path or via field bus etc, you may no longer simply change the object numbers.